Yo, 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 my friends, how are you today? Bobby, back at it again with another build video. So listen, I posted a backhand build yesterday, power forward, can guard one through five. Uh, very solid build. If you want to check that out, go check that out. While you're there, posted a lock build and a point guard build that I'm having a lot of fun with. The lock build can guard any guard in the game. You put any guard in front of that build and it's going to guard it. The point guard build can get open, 90 speed with bulk, has a 94, 3, 93 dunk, and it still gets a 79 steal, some way, somehow. So um, if you're interested in any other build other than this center build I'm going to show you today, uh, I have a couple build videos that will be really good. I'm, I'm building a starting five here, so we're a shoot, after this video today, we're going to have a shooting guard left, and I'm going to try my best to post a good shooting guard build. Uh, sometime this week in the near future, so stay tuned for that sub up just so you get notified when that goes live I got a center today. Uh, my buddy uses this center. So anytime that you see me playing in Anything with a center. Uh, this is the build that uh, Gets on the court with me. So let's talk about it. You're gonna have a 63 speed right here 50 agility 91 strength and a 75 vertical so in terms of centers this year with the builder, they did the centers a little dirty with the strength. Um, you're eventually going to see that we can only get immovable, um, immovable enforcer on bronze. So that's tough. Last year you could get that on gold with this highest strength, but now it's more tied to just your brick wall. I do think that that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. You're already, you can already get really, really bumpy. Um, no matter what strength you have in this game, which is very strange, but it is what it is. That's what 2K brought us this year, and that's what we're going to have to deal with. So it is what it is. But those are the physicals. Let's get into the build now. Offensive rebound, we're going to have at a 96. This is going to be Hoff rebound chaser. We're going to up this to a 90 D board. If you're trying to make this build for like random rec, which I highly recommend, you're going to want to be able to dominate the boards throw the ball as far as you can when you get the boards and sit in a corner and shoot threes. That's pretty much what you're going to want to do this year. Last year, I think you could get away with an inside, but this year I'm having a hard time seeing people use an inside in random rec. Um, but like I said, I run with this build in threes, fives, pro-am, proving grounds, rec, and um, it's doing really, really well. So, you know. I, I like it. You're going to get the Hoff Rebound Chaser, the Hoff Box Out Beast. If you want to use Cap Breakers on this build, it's going to be Legend Rebound Chaser. That would be disgusting, and I love that for you and I. Let's talk about the block. Block you're going to have up at an 84. Um, you get every badge silver. Not really much to talk about there. Um, if you are the person that is guarding the paint with this build, you're going to do just fine contesting shots, blocking shots. Typically, if you're running with five, the power forward, if you are if you are playing in a good way, the power forward's gonna be around the bucket a little bit more. Um, but in the, in, the, in the case that that's not happening, this build will defend the paint really, really well. I really like it. Steel's gonna be a 60, so you can hawk those lanes with the, with the, with the interceptor on bronze. You have a 710 wingspan, so it's like, you're gonna get in passing lanes. You're gonna be able to get steals with this build and it's gonna be a really, really good time for you. Uh, perimeter, this is when that immovable enforcer comes in. It's gonna be at a 62. You only get it on bronze. I do think that that's very strange that they did that this year, but we might as well try to get that badge if we can, especially being a center. You wanna be able to just be as bumpy as possible. Immovable enforcer improves a defensive player's strength in defending ball handlers and finishers, so finishers is what you're going to be around you want to be able to stop them to the best of your ability that's why we put that there this is very important here for the pass act pass accuracy is going to be in 93 really really high pass break starter hall of fame dimer hall of fame what's even crazier you could use your five cap breakers on the pass for if you wanted to you don't have to i'm not telling you to i'm just saying if you did You'd have Legend Break Starter, Legend Dimer. Uh, you would get Versatile Visionary on Gold, and Bailout, I believe, would also be Hall of Fame. So very good stuff there. Bailout is irrelevant, I think, with Bigs because you're very rarely like passing out of a shot. So Bailout's kind of a waste, in my opinion. But you do get it. 
you do get it. Break starter Hoff, potentially legend if you use your cap breakers here. Disgusting. I actually, I actually can't imagine legend break starter. That seems, that seems insane. And I really can't imagine having dimer legend. I have dimer Hoff right now with my plus one to my guard, and it's, it's beautiful. So I can't even imagine on, on legend. That would be. <laughs> That would be groundbreaking, boys. You might want to think about doing that, to be honest with you. Shooting, you're going to have a 74-3, 78 midi. Um, you want that 78 midi for the set shot specialist right here on silver. Free throw is going to be a 72. Free throws are a little bit more difficult this year, I think, than last year. I don't know if it's... I just haven't played enough. I've played less than 70 games this year, all modes included, so... I'm not used to free throw exactly, so for right now, I'm going to keep putting it kind of low until I notice it. They don't have free points badge this year like they did last year, so there's not really belief to me that 80 is that much better than 70 or 90 is better. Like, you know what I'm saying? So just keep it low for now until we learn more. Um, and then three, it's the highest three that you can get with this build. That's really the only thing that you need to hear about the three. You're going to be able to shoot very well at this build. The guy that I play with that uses this build shoots around 50%, which this year is a feat. It's an it's it's unbelievable to shoot that well. Last but not least, finishing. You're a center. You want to be able to finish to the best of your ability. This build is doing that for you. You're going to get a... Uh, wait, let me just up this. There we go. I'll give you an 80 midi if you want. Um, I don't know where else you would put that. Uh, you know what? We'll put it on steel. We'll put it on steel and get you a little bit more free throw. So, but yeah, you're going to get the 90 standing dunk for gold rise up. You do get aerial wizard on gold as well. That's probably hard to do as a center. I don't know. I'm not a center. But I do know that this build can dunk on anyone that's down there. Meter dunking is still a thing. The person that I play with that, that uses this build doesn't meter dunk, and he's dunking on people left and right. Um, if he's getting inside position, he's very easily um, finishing either with the close shot that he has at a 76, which is not amazing, but it gets the job done for when he's not dunking with his 90 standing dunk. Um, it's getting the job done. Gold rise up is really good. Um, a, doing a plus one badge to that would be pretty cool too. A really well-rounded build. Like I said before, if you're making this build, it would hopefully be for random wreck. You want to be able to dominate the boards, stretch the floor, and throw dimes. And that's what this build gives you. Really good, well-rounded center build, in my opinion. Let me know what you would change. Let me know what you would fix. And let me know if you even like it. Um, I'm not very really good at making center builds, but I had a Jokic build last year, and I fell in love with it. So it was very similar to what this build is, so I think that this is going to be very usable in 2K25, just like it is in 2K24. So let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you would change. Drop a like. Greatly appreciate that. The love recently has been amazing, so thank you for all the love. And drop a sub for just more love. We love we love loving over here at Bobby Bang. We love to love. So show some love. Click on this playlist right here if you want to see the other builds that I posted. Um, hopefully a shooting guard build coming to you soon and I'll see you then. Goodbye. Peace.